Okay, we're now going to look at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Uh, so let's start off with one that's quite straightforward. Now, adding and subtracting algebraic fractions is just the same as adding and subtracting normal fractions. Remember, they need to have the same denominator. Uh, once you get them to have the same denominator, you've just added and subtracted the, uh, the numerator, depending on what the sign is, and then at the end you cancel it down. So I can't add these at the minute because they don't have the same denominator. This one's got a denominator of x, this one's got a denominator of y. So let's make them have the same denominator. So if I times the top and bottom of this one by y, I would have x, y in the bottom. And if I times the top and bottom of this one by x, I would have x, y in the bottom of this one as well. So if we make x, y the denominator of both. So times the top and bottom of this one by y gives you a, y over x, y. Times the top and bottom of this one by x will give you uh, w, x over x, y. As you can see, the two denominators are now the same, so we can then just write the denominator being the same, x, y, and then the two top numbers, you just add them together, two top expressions, a, y plus w, x. And that's it, that can be factorised or simplified or anything like that, that's your answer, a, y plus w, x over x, y. Okay, we're now going to do another example. Uh, we'll go 3 over x plus 1, take away 4x over x squared minus 1. Just like multiplying fractions, just like dividing fractions, try to factorise the top line and bottom line first of all. So you can see here, this x squared minus 1, difference between two squares. So you're going to get 3 over x plus 1 minus 4x over bracket, 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 x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, now we need to make them have the same common denominator. So this one here is x plus 1, x minus 1. And this one's x plus 1. So if I times the top and bottom of this fraction by x minus 1, you're going to have an expression over x plus 1, x minus 1, and another expression over x plus 1, x minus 1, and then we can just work that out. So times the top and bottom of this one by x minus 1, so they've both got x minus 1 on the bottom. So you're going to get 3 bracket x minus 1 over x plus 1, x minus 1. No, so I'm not expanding this, I'm just leaving it as it is. Okay? And this one, you don't need to do anything to this one because it's already got x plus 1, so it's 4, bracket. It's already got x plus 1, x minus 1 on the denominator. So you can just leave it as x plus 1, x minus 1 on the denominator. Okay? Because we've got the same denominator now, okay, what you can do is just put it all over x plus 1 x minus 1, and you can write on the top line 3 bracket x minus 1, close brackets, minus 4x. Now you've got to be careful here, okay? If there was uh, two terms on the top line here, okay, you'd have to do minus bracket and then whatever the two terms were on the on the on the numerator, okay? And you'd need to do minus times that, okay? So you need to be careful, okay? If you had a, like a 4x minus 3, you'd have to do minus bracket 4x minus 3 and then whenever you expand your brackets you get minus 4x plus 3 okay so you'd have to be careful there now let's uh, multiply out this bracket so you're going to get uh, 3 bracket uh, sorry multiply out the brackets silly me you're going to get 3x 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 take away 4 all over x plus 1 x minus 1 Okay, uh, 3x take away 4x, so that's then going to equal minus x minus 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Make sure your hand is a bit more clear than mine, actually. Um, you could, if you want to, take the minus uh, 1 out as a factor on the top line. This is perfectly fine. I would probably leave it in this format. But if you wanted to, you could take the minus 1 out as a factor and get minus bracket x plus 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. These two are very similar to each other. All I've done is taken the minus 1 out as a factor here, or change the signs by putting a minus outside of the bracket. Um, and that's it. So, main thing, add and subtract and algebraic fractions, make them have the same denominator, then work from there.